Hey everybody, welcome to our channel. Today we're gonna be making Instant Pot Red Beans and Rice, New Orleans style, Louisiana style, because we are from Louisiana. So, if you wanna see red beans and rice in the Instant Pot, please continue watching this video. All right, you guys, so first things first, what you wanna do is hit the saute button on the Instant Pot. We put a little bit of vegetable oil in the pot that's heating up, and it should be just about ready. We have sausage, smoked sausage, and we use Richard's sausage, which we can get in Louisiana. I'm not sure if we can get it anywhere else, but otherwise, you just use whatever smoked sausage you can find. And right now, Chef Jay is going to chop up the vegetables. So we'll be right back once he's done with that. So we have onions here with garlic. And right here we have, we're trying this roasted red peppers and it actually comes out of this jar. It's just something new that we're trying this time. So what we're gonna do is on the saute mode, we're going to put everything in the, in the pot on the saute mode for about five minutes, if that. So I'm going to put in the sausage, the onions and garlic, and the red peppers. Saute for a minute, and of course, you are going to need some seasonings. So, right here, we have our Chef J special seasoning mix, and it's his own seasoning blend. But you can basically use Tony Cesaris with some garlic powder or any other Cajun blend that you can find wherever you are. I know Tony accessories can be bought pretty much anywhere nowadays. So we're just gonna saute this up a little bit. All right, so the beans have been going for a good five minutes, not the beans, sorry, the sausage have been going for a good five minutes. And now we're going to start to add everything in so we can start the pressure cooking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it on saute, on the saute mode, just to keep the pot hot. That way it'll come to pressure a lot quicker. That's a little fun tip with Instant Pot. If you're sauteing something, or even if you're not sauteing something, put the pot on saute while you're getting everything ready. So it's going to heat the pot up. That way when you go to pressure cook, it'll bring it to pressure a little bit faster than if you were coming from a cold pot. So we have our red beans that we're going to put in. I can find something to open the bag. And this is a one pound bag of red beans. Any brand will do. And what you want to do is you want to rinse your beans, sort them out, make sure there's no rocks in them. Okay, so you take the beans and add it to the pot. And to that, you're going to add in your water. And you're going to add in six cups of water. So I'm gonna add in my water and I'm gonna be right back. All right, so we added all of our water. And remember, I'm still on saute mode, so the pot is still getting, it's still staying hot. Then we have our seasoning blend that we're gonna add in. You adding the whole thing? You sure it's not too much? Okay. 
and stir that all up. Okay, now that we have all of our ingredients, what we're gonna do next is get our pot, get our top to the pot and close it. Of course, we always wanna go to sealing mode. And then what I'm gonna do is go cancel, manual, and some instant pots, it'll say pressure cook instead of manual, but you wanna go manual, make sure it's on high pressure. And, okay, mine went too fast. Come on. And then go up to 40 minutes. And then it'll kick on. There it goes. It'll kick on. And once the pot goes up to pressure, the timer will come on. It'll count down 40 minutes. And then I'll be back to show you what we'll do once we hit the 40 minute mark. All right, you guys. So the beans have been sitting for 40 minutes. They've been cooking for 40 minutes. And the timer went off. And now it's been sitting on keep warm for three minutes so what we're gonna do is we're not going to hit the pressure but the pressure uh, release we are gonna let it pressure release naturally for 20 minutes so by the time by the time this says 20 minutes because this is counting up now it's been sitting for three minutes and it's gonna go up to 20 minutes this pin will drop this is the pin that lets you know that pressure is still in the pot. So if it's up, there's pressure. Once it drops, the pressure has gone down. So we're going to let it naturally pressure release for 20 minutes. And I'll be back after that. Alright, so I let the pot natural pressure release for 20 minutes. And the pin on the back of the lid had not gone down yet, so then I turned it off. And within a couple minutes, the pin went down. So we opened it up. This is what we got. So what we're going to do is mash the beans because we want a creamy, we want a creamy um, consistency, not watery. So we're going to mash the beans, put a little bit of flour in it to thicken it up. All right, so what I'm doing is just smashing the beans with the back of the spoon against the pot. Mm, it smells so good. What I'm going to do is just put it back on saute mode. Okay, so what I've been doing is just smashing the beans and as you can see the consistency has gotten a lot thicker. Chef Jay was on the side making a real quick light roux just to throw in there to thicken it up a little bit more. So this is just butter and flour. So we're going to throw that in too. Mix it in really, really good. And then what we're going to do is put the lid back on, cook it for another 10 minutes because we like ours cooked down a lot. And the beans are just not soft enough for us. Mommy. And this is that's just our personal preference. We like our beans thick, not watery. All right, y'all. With another ten minutes. In a quick release, 
it turned out exactly what it needs to be. Nice and creamy. Bye. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on some rice with some Popeye's fried chicken and hold on. Cornbread. I'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks like all together. All right, y'all. So the dinner is cooked and it's looking really good. Let me give y'all a little view. Mmm. Mmm. We got our Popeye's chicken, our cornbread, red beans and rice. It's looking really good. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button and join us for future videos. Bye.